sorry I left without saying goodbye. Did Master Yen Sid tell you? I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. That's right. No more waiting for you to come back from your adventures. I want to get out there and do my part to help. Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. He's an amazing wizard. Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told him it's fine, but he won't stop apologizing. I'll admit I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. All he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Every now and then, I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's wrong, he says, I'm not sure. I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before. And some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. It won't be easy. But I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Lee. What? I am. <laughs> A letter? Yep. To Sora? Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah. But it's okay. I just like talking to Sora. Even if it's on paper. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hmm? Here. Ice cream? Really? Yeah. I asked Merlin to pick these up. You know. We did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. You're sweet, Lee. <laughs> nah. What? No, uh, nothing. I just... You're trying to remember what you forgot? Well, I, uh... Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Of course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? Oh. 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 Huh? Are you okay? Lee? Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh, something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, but stop apologizing. Fine. On one condition. What? Call me Axel from now on. Got it? Memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel.
So this is the place. Where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Ansem the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own. Hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization. The real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam? When Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No way! That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yup. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay. But Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's cause Master Xehanort's collecting vessels! He claimed to have Two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yup! And Merlin too! Yeah. Hey Sora, I got a tip for ya! Hey, Sora. 
see. Why can't I go outside? The outside world is a dangerous place. You must stay here where you're safe. Do you understand, Flower? Those lights appear every year on my birthday, only on my birthday, and I can't help but feel like they're... they're meant for me. I need to see them, and not just from my window, in person. I have to know what they are. It sure is a pretty day. <clears throat> yeah, the weather is great. It'd be perfect for a picnic. Why do you think we came here? Got me, Donald. We'll figure it out as we go. <clears throat> okay. I'm sure we were brought to this world for some good reason. But can't we sweat it later? Fine with me. I swear that there's no harvest. Make way! Make way! 
way! Make way! Oh. Huh? Oh. Heartless! Huh? You see? Soon as you mention them, they show up. There goes our picnic. I won't do it. It's okay. Let's send these guys packing. Say, since you three seem to know what you're doing, mind if I leave this one to you? Yep. We'll take care of them. Go on, skedaddle. You have my thanks. Whew. The horse was enough. Don't need any monsters on my trail. Well, what? What's your name? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Name's Flynn, Flynn Rider. Oh, watch out. They look mad. here Go. I think I saw him go that away. Huh? But that away is just a dead end. Yeah, that's puzzling. Well, did he? Hmm. I say we investigate. Flynn, where are you? Flynn? He got away safe, right? Oh. Hey, now Sora's gone too. This way, guys. It's a secret passage. <sighs> oh.
How you doing? The name's Flynn Ryder. How's your day going? Huh? Who else knows my location, Flynn Ryder? All right, hang on, Blondie. Rapunzel. Gesundheit. Here's the deal. I was in a situation gallivanting through the forest when I stumbled upon it. Oh. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Where is my satchel? I've hidden it. Somewhere you'll never find it. So, what do you want with my hair? To cut it? Huh? Sell it? No! Wait, you don't want my hair? Why on earth would I want your hair? Look, I was being chased, I saw a tower, I climbed it, okay? End of story. Hmm? Huh? Okay, Lynn Ryder. I'm prepared to offer you a deal. A deal? Look this way. Don't. Do you know what these are? You mean the lantern thing they do for the princess? Lanterns? I knew they weren't stars. Well, tomorrow evening, they will light the night sky with these lanterns. You will act as my guide, take me to these lanterns, and return me home safely. Then, and only then, will I return your satchel to you. That is my deal. Yeah, no can do. Unfortunately, the kingdom and I aren't exactly simpatico at the moment, so I won't be taking you anywhere. Something brought you here, Flynn Rider. Call it what you will, fate, destiny. So I have made the decision to trust you. A horrible decision, really. I am serious. Oh. <clears throat> Let me get this straight. I take you to see the lanterns, bring you back home. Then you give me back my satchel? I promise. And when I promise something, I never, ever break that promise. Ever. Oh, what to do? I cannot let her find that tiara. Okay, just think. I need the satchel, and Blondie has it. There might be more monsters out there. I've got it! The three guys in the funny outfits! They look tough enough to come in handy. All right, fine. I'll take you. But on ah. one condition. My three sidekicks come along. Look at that. A tower. <sighs> Let's check it out!
Who put a tower here? Let's go find out. Gosh, I won't forget this place anytime soon. It's so soft. I'm free. I'm really free. Oh. Flynn, good to see you in one piece. Huh? Guys, you're here and just in time. <laughs> hmm? Oh, who's she? Uh, that would be Rapunzel. Something tells me this could be her first time outdoors. Give her a few minutes to get used to it. First time ever? I can't believe I did this! I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this! Mother would be so furious if she knew I disobeyed her and left the tower. But that's okay, I mean, what she doesn't know won't kill her. Right? No. Oh my gosh. This would kill her. This is so fun! I am a horrible daughter. I'm going back. I am never going back! I am a despicable human being. Best day ever! <laughs> I notice you seem a little at war with yourself here. A little more than a little. More that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Stop right there. Who are you? Oh. I told you before, my sidekicks. Sidekicks? May I introduce? Uh... Oh, uh, my name's Sora. And I'm Goofy. Pleasure, ma'am. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. It's nice to meet you, too. 
I'm Rapunzel. Yep, my sidekicks. Hey. Since when is that? Look, she really wants to see the Lantern Show tomorrow night. Now, I'm a nice guy, so I've decided to help her. Only problem is those monsters might show up again. I can get her to the kingdom, but you guys are clearly more cut out for combat. That's just we're heroes! Uh-huh. And um. we're heartless experts. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> just leave it to us. Done! Rapunzel is interested. Yeah, her heart's pulling her all kinds of ways. Huh? The outside world must seem so big and scary. I know how she feels. Lucky for me, you two came along at just the right time. And the rest has been unforgettable. Mm. <laughs> uh, yep. Unforgettable. Just like your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mal. All for one and one for all. The flowers are growing on top of the water. Hope we find some ingredients around here. Oh boy, let's see if there's more. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this moment. Ugh, how did I get myself into this? Rapunzel has a great smile! The outside world is even better than I dreamed. What will Mother think? say it, but I'm letting you out of this deal. What? It's way too scary out here. Let's just turn around and take you home. No, I am seeing those lanterns. No, oh, come on! No. Rapunzel? It's okay. I'm not afraid to face them. <laughs> Be careful, Rapunzel. I will. Yeah! Ha! 
so wrong! Back off! Someone? Who's there? She's such a precious gift. Allow me to assist you in getting her back. Not how I had my day planned. See? I told you I wasn't afraid.
Look! Oh! <laughs> Watch! Oh yeah, I thought that might work. But I wish there was a way to make more fly at once. Back off! I think Rapunzel's found something. Mother said the world was dangerous. I'm starting to see that she was right. Sora, scatter the ones over there. Just like the floating lights. Oh my gosh! See? I told you I wasn't afraid. I want to see what's at the top of that hill. Hope we find some ingredients around here. I never imagined the forest would be so big. Look at all this water! Oh! It's so refreshing! You have to come in! Oh. See? It feels nice! My turn! Come join me! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sora! Oh. Uh, okay, you're in for it. Oh. oh. <laughs> A rainbow.
heartless! Oh no! You're not picking on these rabbits! You picked on the wrong handsome rabbit! <laughs> 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 Show us something. Let's follow them. <laughs> Where do you think the rabbits went? I think they want us to have this. Thank you. Here 
goes. Okay, that's suspicious. Huh? Oh. Hmm. Rapunzel? Don't worry. I know to be careful around flowers now. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's not normal. I'll take a look. Right, Chat? Uh. Oh. Hmm. Huh. We're all clear. <laughs> These guys, they're nobodies. Mother said the outside world would be full of ruffians and thugs. Thugs not ruffians. Thugs not. I don't know. Rapunzel, Flynn, stay back. No, I want to help you fight. I know, but I'm afraid you can't hurt these guys with a frying pan. Trust me on this. Flynn, could you explain? No problem. Knowing when to flee is one of my specialties. <sighs> Come on, Rapunzel. Gotta go. But... Look, I want to stay and slug it out too, but my sidekicks have it covered. All right. Please be careful, Sora. <laughs> of course there had to be nobody. Of course, we've never seen this kind before. Yeah! So long! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! 
You know who uses nobodies? Yeah. I'm surprised we haven't seen him. I know you're there. Come out, you has -beens. has -beens. Now why would you say that? Because. Bossing around nobodies? That's the old organization. Why? Are you in the real one, too? Good for you. My name is Marluxia. And yes, that is correct. How interesting it is to see you again, Sora. Again? You know him? Mm -hmm. A shame you've no memory of me, because I remember you exceedingly well. Although, it's those memories I'd soon erase. I don't know what you're saying! Nor should you. Nor will you ever, for that matter. <laughs> now, if you'll permit me, I've come to ask a favor. Favor? You have got to be kidding me! Please hear what I have to say. I'm sure you've noticed. Well, perhaps not. But you should know that maiden with you, Rapunzel, is the very light of this world. I would see you guard her from its dark horrors. Huh? <laughs> Starting with you, right? All the organization seeks is balance. You must understand, our ultimate objective is not to clash with the light. We seek to complement it. Use that Keyblade to keep Rapunzel safe. Rapunzel's light? Oh, hey, where did they go? I guess they must have run on ahead. Then we'd better go find them. I really don't like what that guy said. Yeah, we better find Rapunzel before he does. Yeah.
you sure they went this way? I wonder where they went. Don't worry. They couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, just time to stop and talk. Hey, blame the has-been, not me. Oh, I think you mean Marluxia. <laughs> I bet that's the name the has-been would prefer. <sighs> Excuse okay. me, good travelers. Do you know Rapunzel? Uh, uh, yeah. Sort of. Why? My apologies. I'm Rapunzel's mother. The poor child left home without a word, and I've just been worried sick. Please tell me, where is my dear, sweet girl? We tell you, but we lost her. Accident. We could look together. Lost her? You're of no use to me. I'll find her myself. She ran away from home? What if Marluxia was on to something back there? You trust all the machines and did? What? No, of course not. But what if? I agree. Why is Rapunzel in danger? And what darkness is after her? Well, guys, the first step is to find her. <laughs> I hope Rapunzel's okay. I bet she is. She's tough. We've got company. Yeah. Yeah. Back off. Yeah. 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 Here we go. Rapunzel, please be all right. So long. That was close. Hop on!
I think I see something. Suppose we might be lost, do you? How do we get out of here?
from chasing this bad man all over the place? Excuse me? Nobody appreciates you, do they? Do they? Oh, come on! He's a bad horse! Oh, he's nothing but a big sweetheart. Isn't that right, Maximus? What? You've got to be kidding me. Look, today is kind of the biggest day of my life. And the thing is... I need you not to get him arrested. Just for 24 hours, and then you can chase each other to your heart's content. Okay? Mm. And it's also my birthday, just so you know. Huh? Rapunzel! You're here! And you're okay. <laughs> yeah, you too. And look, I meet a friend. Meet Maximus. You could say Flynn introduced us. And where one goes, the other follows. This oh. is Sora, Goofy, and Donald. They've been helping me. <sighs> Come on. The kingdom's not far. Let's keep going. It's not much farther. is beautiful. Whoa, it's so yeah. free. How about we stop for a second and enjoy the scenery? But we need to scale these cliffs. Well, then let's look for a way up. Sora, this looks like a good place to cross. Come on, let's swing across and look for a path. Come on! Huh? Woo! Whoa! Oh! 
I think we could reach the rock that's sticking out over there. Do you think we should check the other side?
Sora, this looks like a good place for one of your swan dives. Back off! Nice! to cross. a good place to cross. them. Oh. You scared them. Oh, I think Rapunzel's found something. I've got to be quiet so I don't frighten them. The birds flew that way, Sora. Gentle, Sora. Slowly, slowly. Please don't fly away. I've never seen a bird like you. They're singing for us.
gosh! Oh, breathtaking. Last one to slide to the bottom's a rotten egg! <laughs> Yahoo! Yes! Whee! I just knew the outside world would be full of amazing things. And you, you helped me find them. Thank you. Rapunzel sure looks happy. She does. Well, her dream's gonna come true. They're sending the lanterns up after dark. Cool. We don't want to miss that. Hey! Wow. Sure is a busy place.